What's good, y'all? You dub back here again here in 2022. Let's get it. I told y'all I was going to keep being on the heads of some folks this year. Have to. Now, y'all see the title of this video. Most women don't have good criteria for selecting men. They don't. Very vain and very superficial. Now, before I get to hate, well, you know, this that uh, women. No, duh, it's not all women. What part of most uh, do people not seem to understand? I know not all women. I happen to know quite a few wives and more. I happen to have quite a few women in my life, to say the least. Starting with my own mom, right? And those women who don't have this problem, guess what they are? The vast majority of them are or have been married for decades to a man at one point. And they would agree with me more or less. And guess what all of those women, starting with my mom to women who were complete strangers and more who had been married decades, you know what they all say, have all told me? I'm expecting, you know, some deeper No, 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 no. Women, women, when it comes to marriage, and we can do another video on about marriage and things of that nature. But they all say it takes work. Which is something a lot of modern women do not want to do in relationships. They don't want to work. They just want to finish product and more. But I digress. That's a whole other topic. So here's the thing, man. I even just was listening. I've, I've had this conversation with many men and women. With a lot of females, right? And friends of mine, women I just meet, you know, women I'm getting close to, women I potentially have dated, women I have dated, and more, right? And here's the reality, right? I was even just listening in on a conversation. I was in a Starbucks uh, yesterday doing some stuff online. And uh, it was one, it was end up being three different ladies. Uh, one was on, you know, one was a young blood. Not too, too young, but, you know, a few years younger than me. Then I'm not sure what the other lady was. And then another one lady stayed and another one of her friends came. And I'm just listening. Right. I mean, they're openly talking. I'm not even trying to eavesdrop. They were just they were comfortable and women typically, even when I was younger, are typically comfortable around me. So they just freely talk about stuff. I'm a man, clearly a man. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just listening to the superficial nature, the vanity. OK, of what's going on. And I've and I and I'll probably do an entirely different video how women are much more vain are much vainer than men. Especially when it comes to selecting a partner, selecting a mate. Because, and women have to understand this. Right? And if any ladies are watching this, and men too, men and women do not select the same. See, for a man, marriage is an entirely different endeavor than dating. Entirely. And I wish females would understand this. Men don't just marry old anybody. Especially a man worth his soul. Now, a sucker will get what he can get. But men, to put a ring on that finger, to make those vows, there are criteria that you will have to meet. Every man's a little bit different. But there are certain criteria. At least he thinks you will meet. Again, unless he's a fool and we're not addressing the idiots around here. We're not addressing Bacchus. Right? One thing. As a man, you want a woman who you can stand to be around. Now, I'm hearing every man in the chat saying, amen, 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 after that statement. I've not talked to a single man, and all half the issues that men be dealing with is because can he bother to stand around being that woman? And I'll explain why that's so, so uh, pivotal in a second. Now, I'm starting off with men so, so that we get a grounding. Can he bother to wake up next to you in the morning? Does he want to see your ass all day? Does he want to hang out with you? Now, from a woman's perspective, oh, that sounds like, oh, he's just my friend. Oh, that sounds like my best friend. But from a man's perspective, yeah, she might actually, and then women know, but we were just friends. Yeah, it's a natural bond. This is how actual sustainable relationships build. It isn't just romance and sex. No, it's based on friendship. What does every happy married couple say that's my best friend 
both men and women. That's my best friend. The emotional bond was actually there. The sustainable qualities that make for actual partnership. No, it's beyond a partnership. Actual love. To fester, to build, to be able to go through the hard times, the work that's required, the getting through the emotional traumas and the, and the childhood traumas and the different expectations, the different backgrounds, to deal with raising children if you have them, to deal with the financial hardships if you have them, and more. Again, we can talk into marriage later. But yes, does he want to wake up next to it? Is, is it? is it just a booty call or one night stand? Or does he, he want to lay there? Women, if any ladies are listening to this, you ever been with a dude who it seems strange like he really just wants to lay there and spend time with you all day and just talk? Just turn pillow talk for a reason. He just wants to, because he trusts you, because he's comfortable around you. It isn't just he trying to hit and quit. No, he really genuinely likes your company. He likes you as a woman and as a person. For men, that's potential wife category. For a lot of women today, well, that's just my friend. He did. You're literally passing on the dude to you should probably be with. And you're probably passing on the best man you probably could have gotten. Another thing, I'm hypersexual. I need to be attracted. I need I need at the gym. I need to superficial. Believe it or not, men don't really go for the most attractive woman. I know that's a shocker. Y'all been trained. No, that's actually a feminine thing. And I'll explain in a second. But men don't go for the most attractive. Right? Most of the time. This is why you will have women who you know. We all have those friends. Like, and some of us as men have dated them. Women, you if you're good looking or above average looking, you know the below average chicks. Let's stop playing. We all know them. We see them. Some of some y'all judge them, who men will slide into the DMs and potentially slide heavily into her pants. We know them, right? If man just trying to have sex, that is what he's going to do. Believe a man when he says it. Don't we already know? No, believe a man in his actions and his words. If he's into you, he's going to pursue you, and it's going to be heavily. Every man is different. But it's going to be heavy attention. He's going to want to listen to you. He's going to want to talk with you. He's going to want to communicate. He's going to want to set up dates. He's going to want to spend time with you. He's going to potentially try to fix your problems. He's going to try to protect. He's going to try to provide different things that men do because it's in a man's nature. It is what it is. And believe it or not, a lot of gay dudes will even do this subconsciously. Obviously not the potential sexual action. But then there's a lot of bi dudes who may still slide in. Because men are simple. Except in that area of love, and even that's relatively simple. A lot of women don't get it. They don't understand how men function. A man's not just going to actively spend all the kind of time around you if he's not genuinely attracted to you. If he doesn't ever want to take you out, show you out in the public, introduce you to his friends and family, his co-workers and his colleagues. If he's not saying your name. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady, ain't calling me baby, why the sudden change? Beyonce and Destiny Child told y'all that shit years ago. Come on now, this is simple. A woman want to act like, ew, no. And we can get into why with ugly chicks and more. But a man, if he's just after sex, he's just going to be after sex. That's very, and a lot of times that's honestly not even what men are really after. If that's the case, he'll slide through with potentially a hooker or escort. And we can get into reasons as to why that and another point. But women will be like, well, he got to be hot. Why does a man have to be hot? I'm not saying get what a dude you're not physically attracted to. That's not what I'm saying. But why does a man have to be hot? You do realize he's probably going to be a hot commodity. Number one, if we're talking from a business sense, because since a lot of y'all know business now. He's going to be someone that a lot of women seek after. Is it this ego stroke? Is, ooh, the sex got to be good? Listen, there's plenty of attractive looking men and women who don't know how to lay it down. You got the dead starfish female over here. And you got the dude who apparently got no time. Well, I done been with plenty of dudes and he ain't no. But you, you went after the hot dude, right? Instead of the dude who's actually into you. Instead of the dude who, believe it or not. Looks can be deceiving because he actually knows how to lay it down, lay it down. That's why you'll have women to be like, 
Wow, I wasn't expecting that. No, because you were thinking with your fucking ovaries, your goddamn ovaries. Your emotions being connected with goddamn ovaries instead of using your mind. You can blame on men without thinking that we talk about that. But as a man grows and matures, he's not going to be doing that. He's going to be looking for qualities. Is she nurturing? Is she caring? Can she be a mother to my kids? Right? And other things we can get into. A lot of women aren't looking at that. They're not looking. Can this dude actually be a stable dad? Is he a leader to potentially myself and my children? Is he going to run out of the fucking house? Or is he going to stay there and possibly die in protection of his family? Is he going to be responsible? Is he reliable? A lot of these, y'all are friend zoning these men, ladies. They don't have a criteria. I've asked so many women, what are the qualities, attributes, and traits that you look for in a man? I get, I get crickets. Okay, well, he got to be tall. That's not a quality. Well, he got to be 5'10", he got to be 6 foot. Why? You're 5'2", five you're 5'4", five why do you need a tall man? I'm not saying, that's a percentage of the population. And then, y'all will be having, what's so, so hypocritical is a lot of y'all will be having these tall ass men in your lives. And that's your best goddamn friend. There's a reason he's your best friend. Why have you even tried to date him? Oh, because we can get into stuff. You dare's things you know about him. Some of y'all got these insecurities. You know he's too good for your ass. And like, why would he want to be with me? You don't want to get with the program. You don't want to align. You want to keep to your ways. Well, you've been single. Well, then, God damn it, you're going to stay single. Stay single then. Let it be known you don't want to date. Don't be talking about you want to get in a relationship and you want marriage if you don't want that. You want to be single in a relationship. No, that ain't how this works. You want these partnerships. You want these 50-50. Nah. 100%, 100% as some people say. You got to be willing to put in. You got to be willing to reciprocate. Oh, but you actually have to have something to be able to reciprocate. And y'all know, know y'all ain't got shit. And if that's harsh to you, fix your shit. Because men have to fix their shit. Men are getting sick and tired of building themselves up, having character, having integrity, and integrity, discipline, and more, just to come out and find out females ain't out here ain't having this. They don't know how to be a woman. They don't know how to be sexually disciplined. They don't know how to nest. They don't know how to be, build, build a home. And the ones that do, they get married with the quickness. Sometimes men within six months, two years, they this long-standing... Oh, he doesn't know? No! A man knows if you're worthy to be married. If he has any, any soul, especially if he's been around the block more than a few times. Especially if he's, he's dated or been divorced and whatever. He's been heartbroken. He knows. If you're emotionally unavailable, that is one of the most unattractive things towards a man. Out here. What about his emotion? Oh, emotional intelligence. Do you know how to recognize that? The emotionally intelligent man is the man you can come to with your problems. That's the emotional, the man who will sit and listen and who's contemplating and helping trying to problem solve. I don't want it. I just need to vent. You can do that with your homegirls. He don't mind venting, but he's looking to actually make your life easy. I know that's a shock. Well, your man doesn't care. Shouldn't have laid up with him. Shouldn't have had kids with him. He don't care about you and your offspring. Oh, it was, it was nice and fun. You were there for a fun time, but not a long time. Oh, dysfunctional ass and used to dysfunction. A lot of y'all don't even know what a marriage looks like. You don't know what a relationship looks like. I don't know if I'll ever be married. You've had 18 dudes try to slide through. Vetting process. Women. You will only get who's approaching you. That's the reality for the majority of females. You will only get who's approaching you. You will only get who's in your proximity. You will only get who you qualify for. Sometimes, y'all pass on dudes above your qualification. Then that's another thing. Y'all think, well, because I got money. That, that Men don't care. Men know that money's not going to them, nor do they care, especially if he's a man's of means. But even if he's a man of character and he's on hard times, he doesn't care about your goddamn money. If anything, he's going to look to use your money, invest that, or help bring that into the household to build a home. He's thinking, okay, she's financially stable. Okay. She's not a complete liability. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's a check in your favor. But that's, we need to be on the same level. That's not the fucking same level. 
What is your character right? Like, excuse me. How do you treat other people? Just like you want to make, well, I don't, I don't want to do this dick. Why are you attracting that? Why are you even entertaining that? Well, I, I slept with him, I dead with him for six months, a year. Why? Oh, because that is what you like. Stop playing with it and stop lying to yourself. That's what you like. Find out why you like that and fix that shit within yourself, ladies. This notion, everything, well, you know, a man needs to be on the, why does he need to make more? Well, well, he doesn't, he doesn't, I want him to, you want this leisure, this leisure life. What does that have to do with the sustainable relationship? Sustainable relationships aren't about leisure. You pick up each other's laundry, you take the kids to school, you drop them off. Uh, uh, one or both of y'all go to work. Um, you know, if he has a business, you can, can I talk business with her? Can I, again, I mentioned this in the previous video, in the Megan Stallion video. Can, can I confide in her? Can she be my confident? Can I come to her? And when I need counsel, she'd be the first person I come to. When I have issues, will she sit back, listen? Will she make my home peaceful? Right? Is she loyal to me? Is she going to be there? Or is she going to bounce when the trouble, when the rubber meets the road? Listen to the marriage vows. In sickness and in health. For better, for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poor, as long as you both till shall live or till death do you part. Where in any of that is sexual attraction a big aspect? For better, for worse. I swear these are these are vows written by a man. Because this is literally how men think. Because a lot of y'all females, that this, I can't say that. It is your, a lot of y'all don't want to do anything. A lot of y'all, oh, he loses his job. He unemployed. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna deal with him. Does he have character? Do you know that he works? Has he had, you know, why is he? She don't ask questions. Then a lot, you know, I'll get I'll get to the emotional thing in a second. But in sickness and in health, are you gonna be there? And I know plenty of husbands and wives who've been there, and women say, oh, it's so romantic, it's so cute. Men will do that. How many females will be there when they, when they do sick? Or they'll be there with the with the sick. Oh, he got, end up in leaving. Because he saw how you treated him. He saw how you talked about him. How you demeaned him. But I was there for him. But were you really there for him? Or were you there out of convenience? Were you there out of, out of this obligation, this sense of obligation? Think about it. And for richer or for poorer, that's a huge thing now. Financial. Because a man worth his salt, he's not going to leave you. He's not going to leave you while you're pregnant. He's not going he's gonna, to he's gonna be happy. He's not going to leave you while, oh, I want this Instagram. I want what these happy marriages. Are y'all willing to do what's behind the scenes? Are you willing, are you willing to be in that kind of relationship? When times get hard, because for most couples, including very wealthy, do you know how many of the wealthiest couples have been through bankruptcies, have been through through loan debts? You don't know what kind of, yeah, they looking like that on the outside, but how many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars are left? Do you have a man willing to take on your debt? See, we want to have these kind of adult conversations. We're going to have that around here. This is stuff I talk about with people. This is stuff uh, uh, grown folks talk about. Is potentially he willing to take on your kids if you have them? And I don't mean just taking on it. No, he's willing to love them as if they were his own. Just like you might be willing to love if he, you know, them like they're your own. I've seen both, you know, stepmoms, stepdads. People come in and take care of their kids. Take care of somebody else's kids. And God bless y'all. Y'all are amazing people for that. Depends on the situation, but a lot of times y'all are amazing people because male and female figures. Maybe maybe there's a widow or a widower. Okay, you got to find out why, you know, ain't just baby mom and baby daddy trouble. Or maybe like they got with someone when they're young and they found out that they, they, they were just wrong and things didn't work out. It happens. Especially in this day and age, it happens. You know, we're, we're not here to overly judge people. Things happen in life. Okay. Can we grow? Can we learn from them? Are we repeating the same mistakes? He or she has one baby. You know, especially in the 30s, that child's, you know, grown. Then here you have a man who's still interested in you, but you kick him to the side because he ain't what your ideal fantasy is. The hell? 
the fuck's wrong with you? So you like being passed through. You like being passed around. You like being a jump off. Do you even know what to look for, what a good man even looks like? Some of y'all are adverse. Some of y'all, y'all have a whole good man right there. And because there are things within you that's wrong, you're so, you won't even, you'll drive them away. Or you'll be afraid to open up. Or you might have sex with them one or two times and, and then bounce. It wasn't him. He was actually, well, he was texting you. He was calling you. He was trying to check up on you. And because you're not used to that, even though that's what you claim, I've dated women like this. That's how I know. They'll claim, and, and guys are like, well, why'd you get in a relationship? Because she seemed like she wanted one. She seemed cool. She seemed, you know, she said, da, 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 I've been through this, bomb, bomb, bomb. All right, bet. I'm that kind of dude. All right, boom. We go out on a date, or we may date for a few weeks, a few months. We may or may not have slept together. And then all of a sudden, she goes, she, she pushes away, she... And so, okay, so the issues were you. The issues were you didn't want to leave the lifestyle. You didn't want to leave that you were comfortable. You weren't willing to elevate yourself as a woman. It's terrible. I didn't want this video to run too, too long. But this is getting, it's, look in, somebody needs to say, it. this is ridiculous. And then, I, okay, height requirements. But then you don't want a man to talk about your weight. Now, I'm not one to talk about a woman's weight like that. I'll just say, okay, she overweight. I already see that. He might be accepted. But then, then you have these unrealistic standards. Hello? Homegirl, you're not that attractive. You're attractive, but you're not that attractive. And you think you can... Hello? Why would a man like that... Again, y'all got these fantasies, these erotic fantasies, these erotic fantasies. These fantasies y'all see in the movies. Why would you qualify for a man that's in your fantasy? Why would you qualify for your ideal man? Men settle. First of all, I hate the term settling. I settle down, but this term settling. If anything, most men settle. Most men don't care if she's a waitress, you know, whatever. He, if he, she fits his whatever, boom, wife her off. Pretty much with the quickness, actually. If, you know, if she's down the ride with him, she da da da. Okay, she might be a little chunky. She might, but then again, depending on the man, he like them curves and, and them thing he can hold on to and stuff. If we won't go there, okay, he like that. That mm, she got that ass, the boot. Uh, she got a little gut, but hey, that them them hips, that them thighs. Because it's male subconscious fertility. If you don't notice, even gay dudes, a lot of them will be like, "Girl, you got it going on, kind of shit." Because it's still hardwired, even though he might be in a dick. He still see a woman. He ain't blind. Right? You know, cute enough face. The hell? Got them areas. And she got these other qualities. Guy like, you know what? We willing to give it a shot. See how simple that is for men? Got to know you a little bit. If, if you know, maybe he get broke up. Or maybe, eh, you're not sure. He peep game on her. Maybe have a conversation with her. Can, Okay, I can talk with her more than five minutes. All right, babe. You see how simple that is for me? And I'm pretty sure some of y'all think, well, damn, I got that one friend. Yeah! And maybe y'all don't end up together. Maybe y'all not right for each other. But is it because of him? Or is it because of you? And with that, I'll leave it off. Unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Any ladies, please. Please. I would love to hear from you. Again, this isn't a bash. This is me having an honest, brotherly, you know, friendly conversation with you. And this isn't me even going as harsh as I do sometimes. And any gentlemen, I already know y'all got some things to say. I already know y'all got some things to say. So please, in the comment section, let's get this thing active. Love to talk about it. Here for it. Let's get it.